I get asked so many times, what is it like when I make a video? Stratic CI4 and the Levante with a Vision 110 Plus one. Tackle bag. Uh, the Casey, which I now like. And... You know, I'm starting to think that this was maybe a bad idea. <laughs> it's winter. I'm in Michigan. There's ice everywhere, snow everywhere. I mean, there mu the dam might be open. You might be able to make some casts. Look at it. The city doesn't like it, but they always have something different here. You know I love you, talk to me. Yes, I do. You know, there's a lot more to it than just fishing, like I keep saying. Right now, got my camera and I'm trying to get some cool shots. You know, catching fish is good and everything, but you gotta have stuff to go with it. And it doesn't always have to be B-roll. In my opinion, you know, I, I like to do what I like, but also what I know the subs like. I like to get a variation. Look at that. I end up setting my stuff down and I just kind of start fishing. Um, and sometimes I have the camera crooked on the table a little bit and I mess up when I'm talking, but that's why we edit videos, right? <laughs> There's probably also gonna be a part in the video where I put the camera in the car because I would rather just fish with the GoPro, but there's ducks right here, so. Like I keep telling you about filming. You know something funny? Or do you want to know something funny? Sure you do. Um, over, I think it's over where that tree is hanging over the edge. Pretty sure there's a Vision 110 Plus one. That's the exact same color as the one that I'm using. And <laughs> how does that go into how I make a video? Because I lose baits when I fish. Stuff happens when you fish. That's real life, you know what I mean? Do I have days where I go out and I catch a ton of fish and everything goes right and I get all the right angles, all the right shots? Sure. But do I have days where everything goes wrong and I can't catch a fish or get the right shot to save my life? Sure I do. I take pride in my content. I try to have variation. Oh, that's disgusting. I just caught a bag. Or is that a gross? Oh uh, yeah, get those trebles in there. It's just great. So now we're at the point in the video where I'm gonna take the camera, put it in the car, and the rest of the video is gonna be done on the GoPro because I'm lazy and it's Sunday, it's my day off of work, so. Well, 20 minutes later, uh, the GoPro, or <laughs> the DSLR is back in the car. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna stick with this jerk bait. I'm gonna tie on probably something finesse, uh, a mini crankbait or a blade bait. Even though, I think I've already said this, but I'm not gonna catch anything. I just, I'm willing to bet you. And I'm not being negative, I'm just, it's just the way it is at this time of the year in my experience. But I can still, All right, we are approaching, well, not we, I am approaching my first battery change. Depends on how long I fish. I mean, when I fish for 10 to 12 hours, I'll go through anywhere from four to eight batteries. When I bank fish for two to three hours and get enough for what I think is a video, I'll go through like two or three batteries. 
So far, no fish. Still haven't even changed the bait. I mean, I'm just kind of having fun filming, fishing, and getting stared at awkwardly by people because I'm fishing and it's February. And you know what I like about GoPro videos the best, don't you? I mean, are they easy? Yeah. Do they make uploading quicker sometimes? Yeah. Can you still do edits with them? Yeah. But you know what the best part is? <laughs> take your stuff, throw it down. You don't have any other camera to worry about. You just take your rod, you fish, you enjoy it. And it looks like I'm gonna fall here. <laughs> is it time to go home yet? <laughs> it's starting to look that way. Is my bait all tangled? I think it is. Oh no, it's just the remnants of that plastic bag. Make a cast. How am I gonna work this bait without falling? Here, I'll just reel it. And I just had the bait stuck on the ice. There, should be able to stand here. I was walking to go to a spot where I was gonna try this jerk bait or a crank bait. And I see something like this that catches my eye and I have to film it no matter what camera I have. The main part of this city over there to my left, normally I would go up on that bridge and over to the other side to film i don't know just just different stuff just to add to the depth and the theme like i tell you about if i don't fall here uh this isn't turning out so good for a video how you doing i don't think i'm gonna catch any fish huh no i'm not no Okay, so I am not the only one out here filming today. Do me a favor and tell everybody what kind of camera is that? Well, this is an old, uh, they call it a twin lens reflex, Rolleiflex uh, film camera. Medium format, the negatives are about that big. So when you uh, go into the dark room and blow them up, you get nice big pictures, great resolution. Catch anything? Same here. I said same here, just brought a rod, camera. Oh, wait a minute, dude, that was you. What's going on? 